Welcome to Stowe House Secrets. My name is Anna McAvoy, I'm the House Custodian, and today we're going to be looking at the Paris Room. Now, the Paris Room has changed some many times over the last 150 years, but we're going to start off in the vestibule before the Paris Room. So this room here has got lots of very heavy looking mahogany doors. We think date from the time of the Comte de Paris, who was here from 1889 until his death here in 1894. And the reason why we think he adorned this particular space here is because it's the entrance into what became his chapel. Now for the Dukes of Buckingham and Chandos, the chapel was just next door and because it was facing north, which is not the way an altar ought to be facing, then the Comte de Paris, who was a Catholic, a French Catholic, he wanted his altar to be facing uh, east. So he took over the room that we're about to go into, then known as the Grenville Room, because it was hung with lots of portraits of the Temple Grenville family, and he made sure that his altar was facing east. So these beautiful doors here, this beautiful entrance, this atrium here, all welcomes you into the Paris room. So if you'd like to follow me, we'll take a look inside. So here we are in the Paris room. So it's been known of very many things over the years. It originally starts off as the original library in the 1770s, and then it became a portrait room. It's been a billiard room. It's been back to the Temple Grenville portrait room again. And then it became the chapel for the Comte de Paris. Hence its name now as the Paris room. It is now a house room for one of the boarding houses at Stowe School. There's a few things I'd like to point out in here. One is this beautiful ceiling. Now this ceiling here hasn't changed much over the years and this is quite important to Stowe. And many of the state rooms have um, got damage through water ingress or just by bits falling down. But in this one, it's remained pretty stable. We think that it might be another Valdre creation. So Valdre was a artist here, a, um, an architect working here uh, in the 1770s, 1780s, and we think that he might have created this ceiling here. The other thing to show you in this room is the fireplace around. So at the moment, it is a Buckingham grey slate, so it's quite dull. But originally, it would have been a beautiful marble fireplace. And as what happened here with all the other fireplace arounds is that they were sold off in the great sale of 1922. So we don't know where the original one is, but the grey fireplace around now was taken from one of the bedrooms, the guest bedrooms, up farther up in the house. And then one more thing to point out in the corner of this room is the interlocking door that has now been blocked in. So when this was a the Grenville um, portrait room or the billiard room, it linked through to his lordship's dressing room, which in turn linked into her ladyship's dressing room. Now this door has been blocked in now for use as the, uh, the house room today, but it's easily able to be unblocked so that we're able to use it in the future. 